governance paradigm actually identifies a set of governance capabilities, but these capabilities are hand-me-downs, if you wish, from the set of higher income countries that we now recognize as OECD countries, as, as countries who have achieved a very high level of capitalist development and who we call high income countries, as I said, the OECD countries. And it is based on particular theoretical models which, which come from liberal economics, which had its source in the Western countries and actually is much more applicable in these kinds of Western economies. So, so what are we looking for? You know, the cornerstone of the good governance paradigm is that uh, markets have to be efficient, property rights. You know, all of us own private properties. We are mostly living in societies where uh, the state owns properties, but also we as private citizens and individuals are allowed to own property uh, and those rights have to be protected. It also encompasses media freedom. It encompasses rule of law, it encompasses voice and accountability, all of which, if you think about it, uh, you know, very clearly and very seriously, these are outcomes. These are where we want to be. Most of us aren't living in these kind of contexts. How do we get there? We want a rule of law, but we can't have a rule of law to get to a rule of law. How do I get to a position? What is the set of policy packages that will get me to rule of law? And that is why the good governance paradigm is not very effective for understanding development or, or why we have corruption and how to deal with corruption in most developing countries. If our anti-corruption framework is um, overwhelmingly based on, on legal frameworks, then we're expecting that there's going to be reporting. Uh, of course, we know the problems with reporting. There's been so much about amending our, our whistleblowing legislation. But in a high crime society, we see the effects that whistleblowing has on whistleblowers, right? In a high crime society, in a society that um, where there's an abundance of firearms, um, you know, then people get killed. So in, in a high crime society, thinking that you will enforce your anti-corruption by people coming forward to report, when people have seen what has happened to previous reporters, um, then, you know, again, um, it's, it's, you know, I think I don't need to say more, it's problematic because a lot of them were, were historically were developed from work done in the U.S. and done by the OECD. They favor inter a lot of international cooperation, a lot of extradition, and African countries were not plugged into that network, right? So, for instance, if you see, I mean, we, we know the, the debacle that happened with the Gupta extraditions, which never were. Um, and right now in, in the media, there's, uh, there's a report of a man who's being extradited to the UK for committing sexual abuses in the UK when he was a teacher there. So the UK is able to get their criminals back to the UK, but we are not able to get our criminals back here. So, you know, I don't know what the, where, you know, where that tension is in the system, but it's not working for us the way we wanted to. A lot of the fundamental assumptions that we take from Western societies that we then integrate into our system, those assumptions are just not there. So it's like a it's like a house of cards in a way, because all the legs that you expect this, you know, the top of this table to sit on are not there. So the table is is not a table, it's on the floor. And you know, we're seeing the outcomes of that. We need to look harder. Once we do the looking, you can find sectors where there already are solutions bubbling under or potential solutions that we can work at. But we need to start doing the hard work. We tend not to do the hard work because it sounds easy. Uh, let's have uh, more accountability um, and more transparency. And then the legislature will pass and let's say um, an anti-corruption commission will be formed. But that's the easier thing, legislation. What is it that we can do in terms of design? And I think that's where the hard work lies. But once we are able to get to that level of hard work, the solutions are forthcoming.